wanted to do a real short video today and something I recommend you don't do. Um, I've built up a number of hotspots for people based on the Raspberry Pi, but unfortunately, these are kind of hard to come by right now. In fact, there's a special website, rpilocator.com, just to try to track these down. They're a great opportunity for folks to, to buy and then add a hat board to it and then make up your own hotspot. But I decided I wanted to try something a little bit different since our Raspberry Pis were a little hard to come by and I recommend you don't do this. So, since I have a few of these running here at home as well as an open spot 3 hotspot that I use on a regular basis and wanted to try something or with new with hotspots Saw something advertised on eBay and I've seen them around. Um, they mimicked or looked like something I'd seen before. And that specifically was a white hotspot that's advertised on eBay as an MMDVM hotspot. They list it as VHF and UHF. They also list it as uh, being a power bank. So it's kind of the uh, MMDVM version of, let's say, an open spot three. A lot less expensive. You can pick them up for $125, $130 on eBay. Only problem is, is that uh, this one wasn't as advertised. When I got it, and you look at the photo that was in the um, the advertisement on eBay for the product, they represented it as just a plain uh, hotspot that looked a lot like the R Finder HCP, or some people call it the Hot Chili Pepper hotspot. That's what I didn't want. And I knew those were OSTAR based and uh, OSTAR is a much more complicated system. It's not as user friendly as let's say uh, the PiStar software. Well, I knew I might be in trouble when this said R Finder on it when I received it, but that wasn't the way that it was described uh, in eBay. It was listed as having the PiStar software. It also was listed as having the 18650 batteries inside. Um, I use 18650 batteries in a lot of things that I utilize including power banks, as well as uh, flashlights and so on. I thought, wow, it'd be a, a great alternative to my open spot three. I thought I would like to play around with one. The big mistake with regards to this is the fact that this didn't have 18650 batteries in it. It actually is a lot like the R Finder Hot Chili Pepper HCP1 hotspot that they have that has been discontinued. There's no manuals, no documentation. This is all that came in the box. So if you order one of these on eBay, beware. Plus the fact that the software is hard to uh, work with. There's no spot for the hotspot security in the menu as I went in and configured uh, that in the, what you would consider the expert settings and got it to work for that, but it's not gonna meet my needs. So um, just be wary of buying something like this. If you're not very familiar with hotspots and this looks like a great way to go, <clears throat> as opposed to let's say an open spot three, uh, avoid this one uh, because this one's going back.